Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sanjana Chaudhry with the top news of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and visiting Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi met in a summit in Dhaka after which Bangladesh and India have signed six memorandum of understandings. Arriving at the Prime Minister's office in the afternoon, Sheikh Hasina welcomed the Indian Prime Minister. They headed delegates of the two countries in a bilateral meeting after their private discussion. A number of projects also inaugurated from the Prime Minister's office in the presence of Sheikh Hasina and Narendra Modi. Earlier on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of Independence, visiting Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid homage to the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, at Tungipara in Gopalganj with flowers. The ICU is now the biggest crisis in the rise of corona infections in the country. Of the 108 ICU beds in the 10 government-coveted dedicated hospitals in Dhaka, only five are vacant. Experts say the rise in infections is due to a lack of science-based self-discipline. The number of deaths is also increasing. 39 people have died and at least 3,674 new infections from COVID-19 in the past 24 hours, according to a press release issued by the Directorate General of Health Services. Analyzing the data obtained from the Department of Health, it is seen that in just 10 days from March 17th to March 27th, more than 30,000 people have been infected with corona across the country. Country with over 150 deaths. Meanwhile, more than 6,30,000 people were infected with corona in the past 24 hours in the world and over 11,500 died. With this, the total number of cases in the world exceeded 12 crore 68 lakhs and the total number of casualties exceeded 27 lakh 82,000. The World Bank will provide $250 million to Bangladesh to create participatory employment to combat the corona epidemic. The amount is 2,125 crore in Bangladeshi Taka. According to World Bank sources, the money would be used to create a new framework for trade and investment and to provide social protection for the youth and women. The World Bank head in Dhaka, Mercy Tembon, said the corona epidemic reduced employment opportunities in Bangladesh. However, the country is still doing well in GDP growth. She added, the World Bank wants to stand by Bangladesh in helping those who lost their jobs by creating new jobs. Myanmar security forces opened fire on protesters on Saturday, killing at least 50 protesters. Thousands of de pro-democracy protesters took to the streets of Yangon, Mandalay and other cities, ignoring military warnings. The country's military government warned that protesters could be shot in the head and back earlier in the day. Myanmar's military government is celebrating Armed Forces Day on Saturday. Meanwhile, the United States and Britain seized property belonging to two Myanmar military establishments and imposed new sanctions to increase pressure on the junta government. Furthermore, the first round of voting in the West Bengal Assembly elections has ended. 30 seats are being taken in this phase-out of 294 seats. The BJP is facing allegations of vote rigging in EVMs. That is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.